Ever had one of those nights that starts out like any other, but ends up being the best night of your life? I did. Our goal that night was simple. 12 pubs, 12 pints. From the first post to the world's end. But that night, we never made it. Uh, so guys, <laughs> you're having a laugh anyway in Dublin. Um, you're back, back together now, obviously, the three of you, you guys and Edgar. Does it feel like a relief that the third one is finally in the back? Um, uh, <laughs> I think it... Uh, no, it doesn't really feel like a relief. I mean, it's nice to, to finish something. It's nice, you know, we never got the chance when we did Space. We only did two. I think everyone wanted three. That never happened. So the chance to finish Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and this is, is, is nice. But, you know, it's not the end. I think <laughs> that... I don't think I'll ever be relieved when I come to the end. <laughs> I'll relieve you if you want. <laughs> I, feel, I do feel like it's something of a relief just because... I, you know, I, I was worried that we might never get <coughs> I mean, to finish it, and and we have, and that that in some respects is a relief. But as well, you must be sick of the sight of each other, or you just you just seem like great friends, though. In fairness, no, we're not. No, we um, we are you really good friends? We are. Someone? We're the best. We are. You know, we're we're the best friends. We are best each other's best friends, and have been for twenty years. That's we, what I we've heard. Been, <laughs> we were friends before we started working together, so that, uh, that we were friends first before we... We didn't meet on a film, we met right, in yeah. a restaurant in Cricklewood in 1993. We're so. godfather to each other's children, we were best men at each other's weddings. Oh my God, do your wives ever get to see you? Oh, well, yeah, no, <laughs> our wives own us. There is that thing, uh, mine leases me, to be fair. <laughs> it's uh, a better deal. There is that, it is in this market, mm. there is a thing that we only make films and do press, so um, we get to hang out together, because we don't... You know, from, from seeing each other every day, we've gone to n probably seeing each other once every six months if we don't work. So it's like, but it's we, like text, big, we text a lot. One big party. Yeah, um, yeah, but we work hard though. Oh, you do work hard. Yeah, I know. Very, I'm, very I, hard. And I met you at a press conference. You probably wouldn't have seen me because there was millions of people there for the Star you. Trek. You remember me? Yeah. <laughs> and um, you were talking about like stealing stuff off the set, which I thought was comical. Yeah. Like the, the fact that you got <laughs> to keep stuff. Did you tell Nick that? I, uh, I didn't. Did I tell you about I stole my Star Trek badge? Uh, well, I, I know I've been to his house, so I see it. He sees all my stuff. <laughs> eBay. Um, and you had this, the idea for this movie, like when you were making Hot Fuzz, I, I heard. We were on a press tour and we were in Sydney and uh, Edgar kind of had had this script knocking around since he was a kid about 19 year olds doing a pub crawl. And we kind of had been, just after shooting Hot Fuzz, we'd been back to Wells, the West Country where we grew up and had the odd experience of returning to where we were, were children um, you know, different, like accomplished, having achieved something, and and the weird feeling of of our old town not being the same as it was, and that kind of fed into this idea of you go back to where you're from and it's different, but it's not because you've changed at all; it's because they've changed, literally. Changed. Literally, yes. Yeah. And I know you do, you're very careful on the plot, so that's why I'm, I'm not like don't want to spoil anything at all. But you know, there the are iron. trailers out there though. <laughs> the quite the trailer. Again, so. Yeah, you were saying earlier. I think I heard just talking about this that you don't think people should watch trailers. No, absolutely. If, you want to watch, if, you, if you're going to go and see the film anyway, maybe save it all for the movie. I mean, I'd say that about any film. If you, yeah. if you think, oh, I really want to go see Man of Steel, don't watch the trailers. Go in there and be completely surprised. It's hard. It's hard it's, to be surprised these days. It, you cannot do it, you know, in this day and age. But, you know, my Close Encounters is my favourite film, and I was thinking, imagine never seeing the trailer. And then, but then the trailer to Close Encounters was just that weird road, wasn't it? <laughs> burr, burr, burr. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't think everything... Has to give everything away, you know. There's know. a there's a, uh, a middle point. And then with YouTube and all, it kind of ruins a lot of stuff. I well, as unfortunately in marketing now, because the the, the cinema the, the cinema industry is different, the film industry is very different. The, the marketplace is different. It's run by different people. It's run by people with different agendas now. The idea is, you know, it used to be a given that people would go to the cinema. It's not now. You have to entice people in. And so, yeah, you have to kind of blow things. And sometimes people won't go and see a film <laughs> unless they've kind of seen the film yeah, already. Yeah. I don't, I've never had to blow anybody for my never Sometimes to get a film out there, you have to blow things. Okay? Uh, Gary King, are you anything like him in real life then? I am, uh, yes. Uh, no, I could have been. It's a mixture of answers. I think, you know, I am Gary King because I play him, but he's someone I could have been perhaps, but fortunately I'm not. I saw the boys the other day. Uh -huh. We're going to go back to Newton Haven. Why? Five guys, 12 pubs, 50 pints. 60 pints. Oh, steady on, you alky. This is our chance to finally finish what we started. <laughs> we are going to do the Golden Mile, and this time we are going to see it through to the bitter end. Or lager end. Good evening. 
evening, Raymondo. The prodigal son's return. Hi. What do you recommend? Beer. Mmm. One tap, watch this. What? What the hell is this? Why are we even here? We are here to get annihilated. You come back and everything's sort of weird. I suggest you get on your way. It's not us that's changed. It's the town. <laughs> we are going to get to the world's end if it kills us. Welcome home, boys. <laughs> end. What do we do? Let's finish our drinks.